Before the word diversity became a globalist political statement in European nations, it was just a word that meant variety, difference in talent, skill, ability, or thought. Today, it is all about melanin content, your genitals, and who you have sex with. And if you're a leftist, of course. Not too long ago, it didn't need to be about race because we lived in a homogenous nation. European diversity got stuff done. It built Europe and it made America, Canada, Australia, New Zealand. We never required rigid rules about must have one of each of this and that. And that's what made America wild, free, and successful. We could focus on getting things done without cultural sensitivity workshops. Today, we pretty much have a diversity police force. Whoop, whoop. Hold on there. Too many white people got to bring in different skin shades immediately. There is nothing natural and special about today's enforcement of diversity. Unlike the early years of America where people organically worked together and formed groups to get stuff done. Oh, white people don't like being blamed for everything? <gasps> Shocking. Today, it goes like this. If you're a white company, you must have one of each skin shade, and it doesn't matter who is actually best for the job. It begins and ends with skin shade. Yeah, it's funny too, because these same people accuse people like me of being obsessed with skin color. Uh, when I talk about race, race is more than skin color, but to these people, it's all about skin color. White guys are still a majority in America, yet they are actively discriminated against in the name of diversity, tolerance, and anti-racism. So fight discrimination by excluding an entire group. Got it. Well, all of these problems are hurdles because of forced multiculturalism. Instead of spending time focusing on solving real problems, we take classes on diversity. The lefty response to Tucker Carlson? Studies show that diverse groups are more innovative and creative. Translation, cultural Marxist studies show that less white people means more awesomeness. Diverse groups encourage people to think on a global level. Yeah, because you can't just think about your community. You have to think about Nigeria and the entire world too, because that's what makes genius happen, right? And diversity makes America's workforce and militaries more competitive. No. Mandatory diversity actually takes away real competition and makes it all about skin color. And a military shouldn't have competition from within. They need unity and brotherhood. 